Any friendlies? UAVs. Don't let them touch any friendlies. Squadron, this is the situation. Targets in range, pair of bombers.
Aces, we are back. We are here for the Ace Combat 7 launch live stream. We've got Raptor rocking the shades. That's right. He is too cool for us today. ACF is here, Ace Combat fan, the one and only coming <laughs> back for this launch live stream. We, he heard we were launching the game. He had to be here for it. We're here to play some Ace Combat. Let's All get right. into it. we got a lot to cover today. Mission 2, yes? That's yes. right. Let's do it. The full Mission 2. We are going to show some new content here. All right, so I guess in mission two, we're going to go with the F-14C, okay. the retired classic mm -hmm. playing from Top Gun. Oh, yeah. You know. That's and why Raptor, we need the glasses. Of course. I should have got mine. Got so but cool, we need shades. That's right. We need shades. Yes, okay, F-14. Yeah. And then we'll be using some guided penetration bombs for this mission since it's, you know, an air-to-ground operation. Can you kind of go over a little bit of the operation? Okay, let me try not to give too many. Not too many spoilers. spoilers. Yeah, we're, we're gonna obviously we're gonna see it, but <laughs> I, I do think we should kind of talk through what he's got to do here. Okay, so basically, we have our F-14, and our objective is to hit the enemy airbase. There will be some power lines we'll be following along to get to the airbase, and there are some raiders along the way which we must destroy, which are those marked by TGT, as you can see in the mission. There we have the first raider vehicle coming up. Raptor is going to eliminate that from existence. I think we're going to go uh, Oscar Grouch to the Aeoli. I think. Yep. Is, that, is that right? 10-5. Yep, there's one on your left side. I'm going you for this one. All right. You can choose whichever one you want. You also have so many helicopters, APCs. you got to strike the, those first before we strike the main base. All right. One of many, though. Mm-hmm. Now that you can see there's a substation, there's a lot of detail with, you know, with the, there's a couple villages, some enemy units, lots of trees, and bomb camera. Epic, dude. Alright, so you can see in blue we have our friendlies, they are already, they are helping us in this mission, they are more effective when compared to the previous games, their AI is more advanced this time, and Raptor is now following along look seeking for the the radar vehicles that are scattered around uh, around the map you can also kill enemies with your guns you see the explosion just coming uh, out of it it's a nice model it's, uh, what's more effective when uh, hitting the air to ground units are you, do you want to use the air to, air -to ground <laughs> missiles or the machine gun? wow raptor We're down, really okay hey, let's see I, I think a kamikaze is not the best effective method that's right that's just our practice run we just want to show the that that's animation. just recon right that's yeah. right so it, it really depends. With Ace Combat, there are some different tactics you can use against air, uh, ground and air targets as well. It really depends on how the terrain is modeled and mm -hmm. how you're going to hit it. Missiles depends also on the you know the angle and the speed of the targets. Mm -hmm. Ground targets are usually slow. You are pretty much okay from any angle, but some ground targets are more advanced and they might even be able to intercept your missiles with some um, AA fire. But in this case, since this mission two, it's all the beginning. Uh, the radar vehicles, they are defenseless, but... Shouldn't, should be nice and easy, right? You shouldn't yes. die in this mission at all? No, not no, at all. Okay, got in it. fact, that's not supposed sure. to happen. We'll just edit that out. That'll be fine. Yeah, right? no one saw anything. No one. Absolutely not. That's what save files are for. Now, mm -hmm. one thing, too, that's really important is the uh, audio cues, which we don't really have much of right now, but one way to really avoid missiles and know if you're locking on and what you're using and if you're locked is either your... Uh, allies emotes around you you know whether they're communicating uh, via radio or you know your sensors like right now I, I don't tend to notice the the obvious red flashing lights or anything I usually use audio cues you know if I'm locked on or if a, if a missile's been fired at me so it makes it easier to engage or disengage depending on the situation and to drop flares too yeah we have both visual and audio pro and audio cues like with the visual, you're gonna see all your HUD, which is you know talking about your speed, your altitude. It's gonna, everything's gonna turn red. You're gonna hear the missile alerts, which they are a little bit traumatic if you're if you're playing for the first time. But you get used to them as you play Ace Combat, and yeah, so uh, yes, yeah, it's a good it's a good mix between the visual and the audio. Yeah, that beeping is a constant too when you're uh, being trapped and chased by the enemy while you're bombing. Nice, fuel taken. Yeah, one cool thing is that in h 7 you have a new system where if you destroy such uh, an enemy fuel tank and there's a target right beside it, it's going to explode and give some collateral damage. So that's something new to the series and that's something that Raptor just did. Now I think you got to go after some of the radar sites 
if you look on your radar, when you open it up, are gonna be marked as the TGT again, the red targets, which are the ones you're supposed to destroy in order to clear the missions. All right, let's go for it. After this one. Yeah. One other, uh, one other new feature, I think, to this version is uh, the ice, mm -hmm. right? Can you talk about that a little bit more? Uh, icing up? So basically, icing up refers to when you have your plane south inside the cloud for a too long of a time. You're gonna uh, warning from your aircraft system saying you're icing up. Basically, with ice forming on your wings, you're gonna lose lift, and eventually, if you get too much ice, you're gonna stall your plane. And this is something that happens in in real life. So it's model after real life, and uh, it gives you a good sensation of just flying inside inside the clouds. They are very immersive. Also, there are some air currents and visibility, of course. How catastrophic can icing up be in real life? It's pretty bad. It's bad. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and what, what's the, I guess, the counter to icing up? The, uh, some aircraft, they have uh, heaters oh, that they okay. can use to you know, heat, heat the wings the and eliminate the ice. It really depends on the model, but uh, you don't want to get ice, too much icing because you might stall, you might lose control. There's certainly it. a lot of ice with me for this certain. There we go. There you go, we just took out I'm going to give a radar. special shout out on the chat. I see him in here. He's uh, talking to the fans, and I appreciate it. Sly Cooper fans in there. Hello, hey, Sly. So, Sly's in there, talking it up. Just in case those who don't know, Sly is the guy who takes care of ASPD. A lot of good yep. information on the lore, mm -hmm. which... Lore I, galore. Yes, I've seen the bits and too pieces. Too much. It's too much. Bits and pieces of Ace Combat 7, there's going to be a lot of lore. For those of you who don't like, who like lore, it's going to be very rich. For those of you who are just more interested in the gameplay, you can just focus on the gameplay. Slides in the chat like Mobius1, just hit, giving out all kinds of information yes. for, for people that are asking about pre-orders and other things like that. Protecting the nuggets. So, yes. I, we appreciate it. Love the gunfire from the uh, enemy AA. It really looks like Baghdad 91 when you're flying over. It's really impressive. So we got a mission update. You can see some new targets have popped up on your HUD. And uh, they're marked as a TGT, and now Raptor is gonna fly against. I mean, fight against them. Ooh. As much fun as it is using the missile cam, like it really takes away from the view. And I think I feel like that's how he crashed the first time. That's right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Missile cam, and then it's too beautiful to look at. It's really cinematic. It's cool. The I worlds did. are really well done. I mean, these are. Oh, whoa, 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 what was that? I think I killed a Smurf. Yeah, blue explosion. <laughs> that was. Well, that's ominous. So a little, uh, I guess, not inside baseball, you have an early copy of the game and you have nice. a Thrustmaster flight stick. The reason I'm bringing this up is because someone in the chat, uh, Kusanagi, uh, 1996, how robust is the flight controller support? I've tried for a little bit and I can tell you it's, it's very immersive. Okay. Uh, it's a difference between playing as trigger and being trigger. Especially, it comes really handy in the VR as well. It just gives that immersion and as you see your hands moving, in the in the VR, with the camera, it matches what your movements when you're the actual controller. So it's it really is like being there, and uh, it really is the, the real thing. We're gonna check out some of that VR later, and we're gonna yes. be able to see some of the hand stuff. And you're gonna kind of get an idea where if you have the flight stick in your hand, you're gonna be like, okay, this makes sense. Yeah, that's how my hands are moving in, yep. in coordination with the with the whole movement of the aircraft. Mm -hmm. Here comes that uh, multi kill from the explosion. Love that. Look at all the fire. You can see all the damage you've mm -hmm. done. Just, yeah. just by, not just by targets eliminated, but literally flying over a base in flame, you know you're making a difference in the battle. Yeah, that's one, I think one new feature in Ace Combat 7 is that uh, you, you see the damage for a long, for a long period of time. Plumes of smoke. You destroy a, a few tanks, you're gonna keep seeing it throughout the mission with that fuel just burning. When so I saw something in the chat real quick I, I yes. want to mention. There's a few people are mentioning it, actually. Uh, Talker Sauce, I believe, is the first person I mentioned it. Are you a pilot in, in real life based <laughs> on how you're talking about all this stuff? I am. I am. I have some 200 hours. You don't have hours. to talk about it too much if you don't want to, but I thought it was a cool little detail. Yeah, it's, it's very nice because I, I can relate to some of the experience in Ace Combat. I mean, Ace Combat was one of the things that inspired me to go in the aviation field, but... When you play the when you play Ace Combat and you feel the turbulence, like in Ace Combat 7, it's out inside the cloud, and you feel the controller, you, I can relate that in real life. It, it's, it's closer than real thing. Flight, uh, real flight is good, but it's not the real thing. It's not like Ace Combat. It's not as good. Yes. Have you flown a, have you, uh, flown a plane before, Raptor? Mm, I've been in planes, but not okay, all personally right. flown one. Helicopters that's, uh, too. step one. <laughs> step one. Getting on, getting on board is that's half the battle. At least for me, getting up that ladder. 
But I think it's comedy can strip down other people. That's true. Well, then that's the a different ladder. Brain. That's a different ladder. We're talking about multiplayer there. Mm. Oh yeah, we've got to talk about. We'll be talking about that. We'll be talking yeah. about multiplayer right. for sure. Yeah, let's take out the ATC. While we're working oh, our way through this mission, can you give us a little bit of background on it? Like, where where are we right now? Who are we playing mm -hmm. as? Why are we taking down these targets? All right, so the, the Ace Combat games, they took place in a fictional universe called mm -hmm. Stranger. And uh, in Ace Combat 7, we are fighting for the Federation of Osea. And that's where our protagonist comes from. He is called Trigger. He is part of the Mage Squadron. And we're fighting against this kingdom of Eruja, who has been featured in some other previous games. You can mm -hmm. check out the lore. But basically, we are on a counterattack mission after Ruja declared a surprise war against Osea for a special reason that I don't think I can mention. Yeah, don't mention it. You can see in the game. Mm -hmm. But we are just you know, trying to fight back because Ruja has some very sophisticated tactics. In sophisticated, yes. I like that. I can mention very briefly that they have a mixture between manned aircraft and unmanned aircraft okay so that's one of the main things you're gonna see in the game the piloted aircraft and the ones flown by the ai or you know the uav yeah we'll, we'll get into the, the like the more uh, like i guess the theme of this mm -hmm. game really uh i i believe that person named skino were in the chat but they were waving hi to you raptor hi skino he's too focused right now on this mission taking out the helicopter i'm trying to save the day now we gotta stop those erosions they're a little, a little bit upset. I heard they did that. nothing wrong. Oh really? That's what I. That's what everybody says. I thought, I thought everyone said oh, that about Belka. It, that's a very. Oh wait, I'm sorry, problem. Belka. Once again, nugget. That's okay. Belka did nothing no, wrong. There right. you go. I'm bringing plenty of dipping sauce for. But I can't say if Arusha did something wrong. Or not, okay. You know. But Belka did nothing. Wrong. That's up to the narrative. Oh, ooh, oh. The helicopters can lock on you. As well, yeah. right? They're they're also having air to air capability, so everything's a threat, including the ground. I found that out. I, yes. I, I had no idea. There's a few people in the chat. Uh, not a login specifically. There's a person's name. Not a login name. That's the person's name. They're asking, can you play in third person? Yes, you oh, can. Sure. You can actually see the plane. There you some go. Beautiful views. You can do that. I'm more of a first person. I think a lot of like uh, people that play a lot of flight sims go with the first person view. Yeah, yeah. third person's beautiful. So you could see the the instruments moving. Yes. Uh, yeah, in Ace Combat you have... They're reacting to the wings, look at that. Mm -hmm. mm. You have three <laughs> different cameras in Ace Combat. You can play the third person, which is the one we have now. You can play HUD, which is this one. You right. just basically get some basic information. So your field of view is more free. And you also have the cockpit. The cockpit. Mm. Personally, I like the cockpit. You see the instruments moving around, which is a new feature in Ace Combat 7. You can even see the pilot's legs moving. As That's well. right. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't like that in the last one. Right. in the previous mm. ones. You're right. And of course, you can see third person. I think third person is more popular for like the YouTubers. People like to see the plane maneuvering, and you get a little bit more cinematic, which uh, you can do by either getting the missile camera. Mm. That is so cool. That's, that's, that's incredible. Locking the camera on a target by holding triangle. Uh, Hypno in the chat was asking, and I, I definitely know you'll be able to answer this. How easy is this game to pick up and play? He's never played Ace Combat series before. If you never play Ace Combat, it's it's really easy. There are two there are two types of controls. There's a novice and there's standard. But in five minutes, you're gonna be able to play it. You don't need to read a manual, like a real aircraft. Just right. pick up the controller. Five minutes, you'll be rocking in the skies. So that's the reason I got into Ace Combat. Actually, was because I always liked the flight sim approach to the game. Like I, I love the like seeing the planes and being able to pilot one, but I was never good at it. Jumping into Ace Combat, it's so simple. You just pick up mm -hmm. a controller and just play. And still have that, that feeling of, you know... Being at the top gun. Yeah, exactly. Being yeah. in Ace. The thing what makes Ace Combat different from, from single is just accessibility. And at the same time, it's not just accessibility, you also have a story, you have a narrative going on. So it's not just, you know, destroying enemies. It's destroying enemies and you know why you are destroying them or what you're fighting for. Now, I, th I think I should mention now, we got into a mission update. In, you're gonna see on the the HUD or in the in the screen there. We're not fighting just regular aircraft. We're fighting this MQ-99, which is a UAV actually, which is part of what Arusha's arsenal in their air force, and they're gonna be quite important in the story of the game. You can think. You think you can handle the UAVs? I think so. They're really fast. They are. They are really fast. Quite easily. 
by playing the game, I can tell there are different tactics that the, that the AI has for many planes and UAVs. UAVs, they feel very mechanical. They are very precise. Man planes, you see a little bit of hesitation from the enemy pilots, um, a little yep. bit of desperation. And limited to the human body, too. Mm -hmm. The Gs and everything is where these planes can... And they're a lot smaller as well, so a much harder target to hit. And they are very Ooh. agile. Yeah, very agile. Super fast. Wow, look at them go. And the, they also employ different tactics. They are, they are very precise when they fly inside the clouds because enemies, well, as well as the player, you can fly inside the clouds in order to protect yourself from enemy lock because the clouds, they do affect the gameplay and to hide yourself as well. Is it all right? These things. I don't know, do we have a medic on standby? I'm like, you know, palpitating here. You have 82% <laughs> damage, you're fine. No, I'll be alright. Hey, you survive. I think it's also different because the, the UAVs, they're lighter enemies. You only take, you only takes uh, one missile That's right. to get it destroyed. Yeah, the other planes, two, possibly three hits, depending on its size. Mm -hmm. But these are winning because of their agility. That's their, their key. Yeah, there are some different mechanics on how the enemy is. Yep. There you go. Handle in Ace Combat 7, if you played the, the previous games. But I'd say it's very accessible for new players. Can also play. We're playing on the hard difficulty, but you can also go you know, easy, normal. Mm -hmm. And if you want to really challenge yourself, you, have, you can play Ace, the Ace difficulty. How I'm, I'm sure you've played it. How challenging is the Ace difficulty? Veterans will, will, will have a challenge. Okay. Yeah. And we also have some special pilots, which you can see right now. It's the MiG-29 full-time jester that apparently got shot down. Yeah, so there's only one clown allowed in this stream. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they are more. They have a more advanced AI, and by shooting them, you get some extra points. You get you go to you get to know a little bit of their paint the paint team that you can fight on your planes. Usually, a special one. And some sometimes there's some lore related to, to the pilots. Trophy King in the chat is asking if you can collide with other planes. Have you ever had? Ever, I've never had that happen because I'm so good at this game. But have you ever had that happen? I totally wasn't trying to, to you know, pass it out. I but, could try. Uh, yeah, it, it, it did happen. I'm your man when it comes to demo. If you if you uh, touch the bigger planes, you're gonna have a bad time. Yeah, that's yeah. right. I think particularly the arsenal bird. Ooh, hey, yeah, that's it's not something you want. Actually, now that you mention it, mess. yes, if uh, I I've ran into the arsenal bird before, and uh, when you collide, it. Uh, you definitely go bye bye. Yes. But don't worry, there are other ways the Arsenal Bird can kill you as well. Wow. Many. True. Many ways to die in this game. Or get downed, I guess. Yes, get shot down. Alright, so I think that's the last drone we have for mission two. Apparently he's using the clouds to evade. Oh, the he clouds is. they Yes. They end up uh, they don't collaborate with the missile tracking of the heat seekers. So you gotta be fast. That's right. You can use the high G turns. High G turns is a feature where your plane can turn faster than normal, but you lose more speed in the process. Yeah, we're going to talk about some of the uh, like the more expert maneuvers later on. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Yeah, you might have to watch nope. for the opportunity for him to get out of He's the cloud. Way too far. Yeah. He's very fast. I'm very used to uh, the previous Ace combats where cloud coverage yeah. and such didn't Should affect. Him. The range was always the same. This. Got there him. We go. There we go. Got him. Did I do good? The skies are clear. Nice work, everyone. Eh, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we can all work our way. We out. can all work. I gotta work on my climbing. Alright, well, while we're finishing up the mission, we are actually gonna do some giveaways as well. So we're gonna have four copies of. The, well, we're gonna have four copies of the game total. One of those copies is gonna be an Ace of War bundle. We'll give that away last. So. For the first one, we're going to give away a PlayStation 4 version of the game, and Cyrus is going to uh, pick a name in the chat. Special thanks to Cyrus. Say hi to him. He's the one helping me out uh, with the chat. Ace of the chat. Mm. A wonderful replay mode, too. That's yes. Just it's, uh, incredible. Yeah, you can see the entire mission. You're playing on Super You can change the angles, mind if I... Yeah, go right ahead. So we have, you have the cinematic feel to it. You can go for third person. Go. No, no, nothing. You can go for the cockpit view. You can look around, so I'm, I'm using the analog button to look around some instruments. 
they change to the out of field, your, yep. your, oh, that's wonderful. your bank. If you're having an epic gamer moment, you can hide the HUD too for, if you're doing recording and you want to show your friends. Mm -hmm. it, it, it has the visuals of, of a simulator. Yeah. And you can, you can use the instruments to, to, to find the game if you choose to do so. You can also play with the cinematic. There are different views, you can get the views from your weapons. So. A lot of stuff. So I guess we can proceed. Should we, should we show the briefing screen to the, the folks? I mean, we can, but I, I don't think there's much to it. That That's fine. Yeah, we can actually, uh, uh, we have a lot to cover today, mm -hmm. so I kind of wanted to like get further into uh, like what yeah, we're going to talk about, what, what's the story and the videos and stuff like that. So we're actually going to, let's see what we're going to get into next. Um, I think we're going to talk about, we talked a little bit about the story while we were playing the mission there, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think now we should check out, some people haven't seen it yet, the opening movie. Sure. That's like super exciting to me. So if we can play that, that would be great. And then we'll come back from that and kind of talk about the character that's in there. Mm -hmm. Does the color of the sky mean anything special to you? It does to me a hell of a lot. When I close my eyes, the sky in my dreams is a deep, dark blue. Pilots have been in my family for four generations. Flying's in my DNA. Even so, my grandpa didn't want me joining the Air Force. He lost faith in the Ocean Air Defense the day my dad died in battle. You know, Abby, I wish you could see what it's like up there, cruising above the clouds, the dark blue of the stratosphere. Nothing beats being at the controls and seeing it from the cockpit. Look here. Gramps tossed a magazine over to me with an article. Unmanned fighters are no longer a dream, it read. Pilots taking to the skies will soon be a distant memory. I don't see anything good coming from that. Know what? Lying smack dab in the middle of the desert west of here, there's a bunch of planes from the last war. Some of them have been mothballed, but most of them are just rusted piles of junk waiting to be scrapped. Gramps was really good friends with the super there, so he got to take whatever he wanted, no questions asked. That's how we got the parts to build our own plane. Now, when I say we, I mean me, my grandpa, and his old war buddies. I cut my teeth working with those geezers. They taught me their skills and some dirty jokes. But with their aging eyeballs and whatnot, I ended up having to do most of the work myself. I was at the airstrip doing some flight training when I saw it. A prototype drone. It wasn't much of a plane, more of a trash can with wings. Laugh at it all you want, kid. But technology's always changing. If you don't keep up with it, it'll leave your ass behind. It took six years and eight months to get that engine running. And it took us another year and a half after that to finally get the balance of the airframe just right. I'd gone from being a little girl to, well, still a girl, just older. But now, I was all alone. <sighs> Wherever the souls of my Gramps and his pals are flying, I hope it's peaceful. Then, finally, I was ready to break the sound barrier. All this plane could do was take off, accelerate, and fly up.
clouds, high up into the sky. Dark blue. I could almost touch it. Then I saw Osea's fighters. They were tailing something. A drone. They were going full out chasing that thing. Doing 30 Gs at least. Damn, I've never seen anything move that fast. It had a rose painted on it. The Erusian emblem. But that country's a whole continent away from here. Crap. It should have been my best to see this piece of junk. Should have built a return too. And we're back, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the trailer. Who was that Ace Combat fan in the trailer? That was Avra Mead, one of the main uh, characters in Ace Combat 7. He has, she, has, she has quite a, a bit of an interesting story because she, has, is, she is a civilian that is involved in all the conflict that is going on. And uh, you see this, the story develop from there. Right. What have you thought about the opening? Oh, it's just beautiful. I, listen, you and I, I saw in the comment section that you wrote and same as me it just really hits you in the feels just right there when that plane starts taking off and it, it's that music is just that's a character in itself the, the music, music based and the, combat and the whole composition it's it's just incredible we're back to strange yes yes it, and that's it, what fans home. wanted that's right welcome home boys rtb in style that's right well it's yeah actually more you you you're making her jealous no, 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 no. <laughs> and uh, I heard we're supposed to talk more about our special weapons and... Uh, yeah, talk right. about it. All right, so as if you guys have been following a little bit of the, the trailers and the gameplay, uh, one of the main things in Ace Combat 7 is going to be the Arsenal Bird, which is this huge, humongous aircraft capable of carrying 80 UAVs because the game is you know, that conflict between yeah. men and UAVs. So that's going to be one of uh, the special weapons of the enemy, one of the, what we call super weapons. Yep. And there's going to be not only one arsenal bird, but it's going to be two in the air. Double trouble. Double trouble. They are very important to the story of the game. And in the meantime, we have our Nugget Dimitri here showcasing some of the weapons mm -hmm. and the beautiful the Assault Rafale. Oh, if we can actually uh, pull up the Arsenal Bird trailer, that'd be great so we can talk about it a little bit more and you can kind of go through some of the aspects of it. Sure. While we're waiting on that, we'll just uh, check out some of my beautiful flying. I play in third person mode because I like seeing the plane and because I'm a mega. Oh, you guys are so cool. I have the worst luck in that. You, can, you must, you must get used to it, yeah. You can do anything. It yeah. just takes practice. Oh, even taking hits just looks awesome. You just getting gun run. They, That's why you should play in third person. I don't think the enemies did that before. Did they engage with guns? Raptor, it's a scary yeah. thing, but I'm going to need to switch the controller to you because I have to announce the winner of the uh, of the uh, contest that we were... All right. Are you cool with that? Uh, just <laughs> do it. All right, Boom. go. Just don't it's crash. Try to engage. Uh, cool. 16. Okay. All right, so the trailer's going, so talk about the arsenal bird a little bit more. Uh, the Arsenal Bird, basically the Arsenal Bird was a squadron developed by Osea, which is the protagonist country in Ace Combat 7, in order to defend the International Space Elevator. Right now we're showcasing the trailer just for that super weapon. So the good thing about the Arsenal Bird is an electric uh, aircraft, so it can pretty much keep flying for a very long time. He has a total of eight propellers, some of them are counter, and it's a defense solution to protect air, a very wide uh, area. And you can see we have two arsenal birds, one called Liberty, the other, the other one called Justice, and they keep flying around the space elevator. There's two of them, and one's called Liberty, and one's called Justice? That's right. That's yeah. the most American thing I've ever heard. Yeah, I know. They have extra big cup holders in them, oh, too. Uh, yeah, I believe it. Actually, does it come in gunmetal black? It does. Okay. Not in this uh, world, though. And they are so sophisticated, they do not have pilots. They are autonomous. So they're also unmanned? 
Yes. Okay. Interesting. Both the drones and the the, the carrier itself, they are both they are both unmanned. Gotcha. I gotta pick one of those up. All right. Well, we're back from the video. I'm gonna pick the winner. I know it's been a while. Brother Nature seven five four, you actually win a copy of Ace Combat Four for PlayStation Four. We'll get your information and we'll get that copy over to you. So congratulations. Congratulations, man. Brother Nature seven five four. What else are we going to talk about Ace Combat? Oh, before we do that, I want to mention a very p special person in the chat. Christine, the brand manager for the game, she's in the chat telling everyone uh, to say hi to her. So make sure you guys say hi to Christine. Hi, Christine. Hello, Christine. Hi, Christine. Thanks for watching us today. All right, so we talked about the Arsenal Bird. What is the Arsenal Bird protecting? He's protecting the International Space Elevator, which is a multinational project to basically transport cargo or spacecraft from Earth to space. And uh, it's gonna be the main, the main plot of the game is surrounding the space elevator and the tensions between countries about its construction mm -hmm. and how it plays in you know, the whole geopolitical stage. Got it. Okay, and I, I don't think we want to say too much more about it because it, it, they it's will, close. Yes. Like I, I, I was gonna ask you why are they transporting things to space, but that, I think that spoils things. Or mm, can, yes, potentially. Yes. Okay. All right. So let's but, not talk about it. Yeah, all you need to know is this comment is, is very big on both, you know, airspace and also it talks a little about space in itself. Okay. Did you want to tell us about any of the other characters without spoiling too much? Okay, some of the main characters we're going to have is Avery we talked about. We're going to have our main antagonist called Mihai. If you guys have seen the trailer, he's flying that Sukhoi 30 painted in orange. He's doing some sort of experimental study or something. Okay. But you guys are going to find out that in the game. We also have other uh, main, main characters, such as the professor, you know, the doctor that's working together mm -hmm. with Mihai. His name is Dr. Schroeder. Pardon my German. And we also have the princess of the kingdom of Arugia, Rosa. Early on in the game, she seems to play a big part. You, you hear, I think, I believe she's the first voice you hear. It's, it's not, or is it April first? That Ava, Ava is first. Okay, and then like her voice after like she gets locked up or something. She gets locked up, and then that's when you hear Princess Cosette, right? Right. Yes. Okay. You're gonna you're gonna see Princess Rosa in the early game. Yeah, that's as much as I. I should that's so, as much as you want to say. But she's Fair important. Enough. She is important. Okay. Cyrus, uh, we're gonna give away another copy of Ace Combat Four. If you can pick me a winner. While he's doing that, I mean seven. Seven is a big one. What did I say? Four. Did I, I know four? Yeah, I, I got know four on the brain. Also good. Yeah. I know four is good. Yeah. It's just all muddy to me right now. Um, Ace Combat Seven. Yes, pick a winner for that. Since we we're talking about characters, we also want to talk about special maneuvers in the game. Oh yes. So we're actually going to play a trailer for the uh, post stall maneuver, which is a very cool, complex thing to do. So we're going to show that now, and then we're going to talk about it, and you're going to tell us how to do that maneuver. Okay. I'll do my best on that. That's for you to figure out, Spare 7. was the amazing post on the first time I've seen it I've never seen it once again preface this as always I am a nugget I did not know what a post on maneuver was until ACF showed it to me here when we were checking out the game you came by and you're like oh you can do post on maneuvers and then I saw you do it I was like that's the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life yes it's magic happening right in front of your eyes so basically with post on maneuvers you're really playing with you know with the stall of your aircraft that means when your aircraft's not generating enough lift mm -hmm. so let me try to explain how to, how to do it. You're gonna get your aircraft. Uh, it depends, some aircraft are capable of doing, the most maneuverable aircraft are capable of doing this kind of maneuver. You're gonna slow down and uh, you're gonna hear the, wa the, the stall warning on your, on your aircraft. Mm -hmm. As you hear, you're gonna play with a little bit of the speed and you're gonna try to do the high G turn while you're getting the, the, the stall warning. 
and uh, it's hard to do. You need some practice, which is good for you know it's a skill based thing. Mm -hmm. But uh, you can either pull a cobra, which is basically lifting the nose of your aircraft like this, and pulling it back down, so your enemy passes from you, so you can get behind him. It's called cobra. That's the cobra. Okay. It's a Russian maneuver. Of course it is. Of yes, course. It is. And then we also have the the cobit. Basically, the cobit, you're gonna have the enemy behind you, and you're gonna pull and you do a full loop you come back behind them it's very quick but you need to practice it's a skill based game and I mean I mean skill based maneuver you need to practice you're gonna need to know the stall speed of each aircraft and there are some parts you can equip your plane that may be able to help out with the maneuverability are you able to pull off these maneuvers in multiplayer I know we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves but I, I do want to know about that yes and uh, although I haven't played multiplayer with other people to try this but it could be a, it potentially could be a game changer. Yeah, absolutely. Because the enemy could come in behind you, and yes, you're gonna slow down. Maybe the enemy can fire you, but if you do that inside a cloud, because the cloud affects the gameplay, you might be able to protect yourself and get behind the enemy. Yeah, players who can combine those two things are gonna be just they won't be able to. <laughs> no one's gonna touch them. Yeah, it's OP. I'm but super it's what excited. You need to do. Yeah, I'm, I'm super excited to see like the high level multiplayer. Thing. Absolutely, I, it's gonna be insane. Yes. Do you want to talk about some of the special weapons or missiles or guns that we'll be using in the game? Yes, so there's a wide range, there's a wide variety of weapons you can choose. For example, in this one we have your standard missiles, we have the gun, but we also have long range, you know, air to air missiles, ground missiles, anti ship missiles, you have bombs unguided and guided, rockets, and we have some new weapons in Ace Combat 7 which are laser based. So you have, you know, pulse laser. So firing like you know, kind of a Star Wars kind of thing, but you also have that PLF is a tactical laser, just like a big laser beam that you can hit the enemies, and uh, it's very hard to defend yourself against them. So I know you probably know this. Are any of these weapons based on anything in the real world? Okay, the laser, the laser weapons. weapons. I, I have never seen a laser weapon in real life. Okay. The U.S. is probably working on that right now. <laughs> okay. They're probably testing that in Area 51. Okay. I hope I remain alive after this live stream. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, we have to protect ourselves somehow when the aliens come. That's right. Of course. Or the aliens. Obviously, illusions. lasers. But uh, they are testing that. They also have uh, a rail gun, which is basically firing a projectile super, super fast, really faster than a bullet. And the U.S. I think the U.S. has tested that already. It's too wow. big to put on an aircraft at, like today. Yeah. In real life. But you can do that in Ace Combat. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Ace Combat, there's really this mix between reality and a little bit of sci-fi. Yeah, it's As like uh, modern day Star Wars, really. I mean, you're against these huge weapons and there's immersive characters. You're going to fall in love with it. Even if it's you got, haven't it's played got a it princess? Before. That's true. It does have a princess there this time, go. yeah. yeah. I don't know if she's got a castle or not, but we'll find out. Uh, the winner of the next giveaway, Skino. I, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Skino? Wow. They yeah. won. Is wow. that someone you know? Inside job rigged, but yeah. Okay, there you go. <laughs> so congratulations. congratulations. It's, it's Skino, right? Skino, yeah. Skino. So congrats, you won. Wow. We'll get your information uh, from uh, Raptor over here. Sure. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All righty. Uh, we are actually, after this, we're going to get into the VR segment. Oh, so we're yeah. going to do that real fast. While we're doing that, we got to switch over to the VR build. So Let's do it. Let me do that for you here. All right. Is it? All right. So, VR. Actually, oh, before we do that, we are going to play the behind the scenes oh, yes. video. Ooh, that was the big video. thing. I almost completely forgot about that. We need to play an exclusive behind the scenes video that shows some of the story Making of the game, music, uh, and then what? What else? There was a ton of like different. Yes, footage. cinematic. Yeah. How they how they did it. It's quite a treat. It's really cool. So check it out, guys. エスコンバットの何バリングをどうやって作るか、一体何をもってすればナンバリングとしてお客様に認めていただけるのかっていうのはいつも悩むところですね。
、まあ、思ったことを実現するっていうのは非常に苦労しましたねただまあ日本の,そのプロジェクトエース HQ に当たる人たちっていうのはもう本当十数年来僕と一緒にエースコンバットを作っている人たちなので一番驚かされるのはその昔からやられてる方っていうのもそのこだわりであったりとかそれはもうゲームデザインだけじゃなくてアートであったりとかエンジニア全てにおいてそのこだわりっていうのは本当にすごくてやっぱりその細部の細部まで突き詰めなければいけない。本当些細なところでも気になるなっていうところをここ俺的には本当気に入らないんだけど直してもらえないっていうことを話すとあもうそれはもう指摘されると思ってました分かってましたっていうんですねまあでもそういうやり取りを楽しめるっていう雰囲気だったりとかっていうのがやっぱり作品にそのまま出ていくので。今回のエスコンバット7については、まあ、まずはやっぱり何よりも空の表現力だと思いますトゥルスカイという技術を使って、えーまあ、ボリュームレンダリングも目の前にちゃんと雲があるという状態を描けているでそ,のその空の中で飛ぶことができるっていうところは、まあ、まず見た目のインパクトとしてはすごいと思います雲そのものはあの水の水滴の集まりそこに突入するとキャノピーに水滴が付着してあっという間に流れ去っていく実は空にはこんなに表情がいっぱいあるんだと、えー、それはまあ時間帯もありますしでその中で敵と戦うっていうのはあこんなに戦略的にも変わってくるんだ遮蔽物として敵から隠れたり逃れたり。でそれがキャラクターが出てきて喋るわけではない本当にあの無線で聞こえてくる声だけでストーリーが展開していくんですねなので状況がすごい掴みづらいゲームではあるんですよただいかのようにもドラマチックなできるっていう反面を持っていてそこで重要なのが音楽の力ですね小林はやっぱり天才肌なのですごい。僕の期待を本当に超えてくるような曲を書いてくれる唯一の作曲家だと本当に思っていますただそこまで行き着くまではすごい大変な<笑>人でもありますね糸<笑>井さんはねまあでもすごくあの設定をやっぱり頭の中に何でも織り込んでる人ですねあのー、決定しなければいけない立場にあるから悩みに悩んでる姿がもう真っ先に浮かびますね。まず小林といつも話す時は、えー、とその作品で、えー、とどうやって音楽でその作品を表していくのかその作品にとってテーマとなる音楽は何なのかそれはテーマってあのメロディーとかではなくてどちらかというと。えー、と楽器だったりあの演奏方法だったり結構もっと細かいものなんですけどそこを最初小林と結構時間をかけて話します何でも合いましたねそしてずっと決まりませんでしたね一体何を核にすればいいのか A7 の核って何だと小林がよし分かったって帰るんですけど戻ってきたらできた曲は全然違う曲なんですよ<笑>困っちゃって<笑>で言ってることと違うじゃないかみたいな話をすると<笑>ええそれは言ってることは分かるけど無理だみたいな話になってきてそれで大体喧嘩になるんですよね<笑>でその喧嘩が大体3回ぐらいになってあの小林がこん負けするとすごいいいのが出来上がります Back, guys, we hooked up the VR headset. Raptor <laughs> is in the Matrix now. That's right. In the electrosphere. In the electrosphere. Yeah, in the electrosphere. There you go. Immersed. He is、uh, ready to play. Raptor, why don't you、uh, hit that button and get us into some gameplay? Let's、here. go. We're going to check out some VR. This is the first time we've done VR on, on, on stream here. Is that Steve? Hi, Steve. Steve's over there checking the planes. Yeah, yeah he's a nice guy. We played cards last night. He's a cheater, though. Oh, man. That guy. 
Okay, so we're going to get into that gameplay. While that's happening, Cyrus is going to pick another winner. Before we do that, I should mention that it was U.S. Uh, it's The winners can only be it, only if you're in the U.S. But, uh, Skino, we know you're uh, international. That's fine. We'll take care of you there. But everybody else from now on has to be U.S. only. It's just too hard to ship international. Just, just because of borders. That's right. Yeah, if only we lived in a world without them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what if no boundaries would be good? That'd be nice. Right, so I guess you're gonna go for the F-18. That's the, right. Packing the QAMs. Reminder: in the VR, you can choose between four planes. We have the F-18, the Sukhoi 30. We have the F-20 Raptor. We also have the A-10. You want to talk about some of the? Uh, well, I guess we can talk about it once he gets into gameplay. But some mm -hmm. of the different components. You mentioned the four planes. Yeah, we have the four planes. Mm -hmm. The the story is separate from the the main game, so they are completely independent. The story in the VR is based on Mobius One, who is the main character back in Ace Command 4. He also appears in the arcade mode of Ace Command 5. And the events also take, it, they take place in different years. And now we get to see a little bit of the carrier scene. It's Mobius One taxi into the catapult to launch. Who is Mobius One? Who is Mobius One? Mobius One is one of the most popular, most famous, and best pilots in the Ace Combat series. It's Mobius One is the kind of guy that you fight a war against him and he wins. By himself? Yeah, yes. Okay. He doesn't need that much teamwork. And you can see him inside the cockpit now. You're gonna see a lot, lots of switches, different menus, and they are all modeled inside there. And it's time to, to take off. You can see a little bit of the hand movement as well. I hit that afterburner. Time to kick the tires and light the fires? Exactly. All right, now winner for the third giveaway now is Combo Breaker. So congratulations, Combo Breaker. We'll get your information and we'll send you a copy of Ace Combat 4. Ace Combat 7! I know 4 is good, but it, we're doing 7 this time. We're doing okay? 7 today. I know it's Mobius 1 there, so... <laughs> that's, what, that's what confused me. You kept saying Mobius 1, I'm like, Ace Combat 4. It's just too awesome. Ace Combat 7 is the copy you're going to get. You know why I say Ace Combat 4? Ace Combat 7 for PlayStation 4. That's why I kept saying 4. So there you go. But you can, only, you, you can also get Ace Combat 5 on the PlayStation 4. You can. You can pre-order it. Uh, if we have some time, we're going to show a little bit, yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm yes. hoping. I want to see it. I have, this, is the, my, this will be my first time seeing it on, uh, on, a, Running uh, on, the PS4. on the PS4. And I hear it looks good. Yes. So I'm excited to see it. Yeah, guys, it's two games for the price of one if you pre-order. So, mm -hmm. and Ace Combat Five is one of the best in this series. You don't want to miss on that. Yep. And you can also get the the Ace Combat Six for Xbox to Yep. Liberations of Fire. Fire of liberation. liberation. Man, I am a true nugget today. Yeah, we we'll put you on Acepedia. Mm -hmm. Two hours a day. Sly already uh, he DM me and said, "Don't crash to me." <laughs> I never crash. Totally. Uh, so now we have Raptor, he's engaging a flight of fighters and some bombers as well. Ariel got the target. And you can track, you know, you can look into the enemies and fly it a different direction. It's basically one of the options you can do in the non-VR mode, but with your, doing, with your head moving and just everything flows more smoothly. And you have more of awareness of, you know, where you're going and where the enemy is moving. People in the chat are asking us to play with the flight sticks. Unfortunately, our flight sticks are boxed up. We didn't have time to open them yet. But you have the Thrustmaster mm -hmm. one there, and you're able to use it while you're playing the VR, right? Yeah, both the VR and the normal game. It really adds to the to the immersion. Mm -hmm. And I've got the Horde flight stick here, so you can check that out. That's another one. So you have two different options you can go with. Cyrus is in the chat uh, sending you guys different links. So this is the Horde one here. You have the Thrustmaster one there. And Cyrus will put links in both. There's a Xbox version, which is the Hotos 1, right? I think it's Hotos 4. Well, that's for PlayStation 4. Yeah, there's one. For okay, the, the thing with the Thrustmaster, you get one for the PlayStation 4. Also works on PC. Yep. There's another version for Xbox 1. Also works on PC. Yep. And same with the Hori ones here. So there's a, there's a Hori brand uh, that's PlayStation 4, and then there's an Xbox version. Well, Cyrus is dropping both of those links, or all those links in the chat. So if you guys are interested in getting a flight stick, you have... Four different options. Two, I guess, technically. Depends uh, on the platform. Yeah, depends but you have options. Yep. So make sure you guys check them out. If you want the... 
I don't know if it's the true race experience, but it's it's definitely an experience with the flight sticks. It's the difference between playing as Mobius One and being Mobius One, right? Wow. Okay. All right. So that was the VR. That was relatively that was quick. Did Did you want to mention anything else about the VR? It, it really is the true experience of you know sitting in the cockpit. It's an experience by by Project Aces, and they're really trying to test this concept of VR. So that might be the future of Ace Combat. Okay. But uh, it's it's looking very it's looking very good. It's a total of, of three missions, and they have different environments: one air to air, one Ooh. air to ground, and the other one is mystery. You should say welcome back. It was a welcome, totally different back experience, to the real man. World. I love that. Only seven minutes in heaven, though. That was tell us, uh, tell us about a, a little bit about the experience playing oh, VR. Oh man! I, you, so basically, Ace Combat always has some sort of a cinematic opening. There's other missions in there where you're under fire and you're going out, launching from the carrier. Incredible. You know, there's other games where you've been in Harrier missions before or other fighter jets, and to just uh, do it yourself and look around. That's that's immersion, and that's uh, that's the gameplay that I want. I love that mode. I love the campaign, but that mode is just. Um, that's icing on a it's on an a endless uh, cake. cherry on a very delicious Sunday. That's right. As I've heard Every day is Sunday before. in this game. Mm -hmm. I love it. Cool. So that was oh, uh, one more part about the uh, VR mode is the you want to talk about the Oh yeah, air we show. also have the air show mode basically. Oh, you have yeah. your own private air show that you can watch in VR. Mm -hmm. Basically in the air show mode you are on top of an aircraft carrier and you are able to select maneuvers for your allies to perform right in front of you. So you can select the maneuvers, they're going to perform right in front of you. And uh, it's also very good that you can choose the soundtracks from some of the previous Ace Combat games. What? Yeah. Is that breaking news? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, not no, really. No, no, it's, it's been there. Actually, well, been there. You never kind told of, so, sort of. So actually, PlayStation Blog went with their VR, uh, went with their VR um, feature today, with their blog post, written by yours truly, of course. <laughs> <laughs> you know, with a little bit of help, with a little bit of research <laughs> from someone, a certain someone. Um, but they just, they, yes, so the, the being able to pick the different songs, yeah. That's in there. That's so. wonderful. And Ace Combat really is about the soundtracks together of the story. Mm -hmm. and Absolutely. It's a core pillar. Yeah, cool. So we are actually, uh, we're going to play the, uh, the VR video. And while that's happening, we're going to switch over to Ace Combat 5. Sure. So let's do that. We'll be going in a second, guys. We just have to queue it up. Get that Ace Combat 5 port ready for yeah. their PlayStation mm -hmm. 4. Oh, man. Takes a while to charge up. Oh, we're not going to be playing the VR. I guess we're just going to go straight to there. So we're going to have to kind of break immersion here for a second and swap out here and go to Ace Combat 5. So there we go. I cannot stress this enough. This is one of the best Ace Combat games. If you're playing on the PlayStation, if you're getting Ace Combat 7 on PlayStation 4, you should pre order. Absolutely. Don't miss this chance. No, it's perfect. Yeah, you've been playing Ace Combat 5 recently. Yeah. How does it feel coming back? To so, the origins. So it's really beautiful to return back to. I played four, then I played five. I hadn't gotten a chance to go back to zero, but the stories all meld together perfectly. Ace Combat Five, of course, um, takes the story in a different direction. Uh, with you know, you got new aircraft from previous games and such, yeah. and, and it built onto the series where uh, it really shined strength-wise. Again, I'm all about soundtracks. I think a lot of people are. Uh, some of the pre-orders I think came with with some of that mm -hmm. as well for Ace Combat 7, mm -hmm. but uh, Ace Combat 5 is one that uh, it hits you with the with the characters. If we could get a bunch of, well, I'm going to just say Alan H. Davenport, and that's going to bring up a particular letter in chat. Mm -hmm. You'll see what happens, but okay. I mean, uh, you get attached to the characters. Uh, you, you're playing together with a squadron uh, that uh, at Sand Island 15 years after uh, the war with Belka, mm -hmm. and uh, some nations uh, banded together in order to fight Belka, and uh, you know, all spoilers there's a, aside. There's a whole background. Absolutely, but, uh, it's very good if you want to get to know if you really, if you really like the story of Ace Combat Seven, you should play Ace Combat Five because it yeah. talks, talks about you know the background and all. It builds the story for Ace Combat mm -hmm. Seven. So if you get five, you can place, you can do them in any order you like. Uh, they go together well. It, it's uh, they go hand in hand, complement yes. each other. Again, the the characters of uh, Ace Combat Five are just. Incredible, and the uh, the gameplay is as well. It really improved upon uh, Ace Combat 4, and it's a step in the right direction for the series. Uh, first mission is we're, we're chasing down a, an enemy uh, recon plane that has kind of steered into our territory a bit. So there's a looming war that's about to happen, and yes, uh, but Ace we don't know it yet. Yeah, Ace Combat 5 actually has a different approach traditionally from the Ace Combat game, but we're still playing as Osea, you know, the same country in, a in Ace Combat 7. Mm -hmm. And you get to interact a little bit with the, the characters that can say yes or no. I yeah. know it's not. You get a little personality, yeah. yeah. 
And uh, the actual the actual dialogue actually depends on what you say. True. The mission outcomes. There are certain missions you can answer yes or no to and get a different path. Yeah, that's right. So there is actually a little bit of uh, it's not not linear uh, completely, but you can always go back and play those missions again. But um, the uh, aircraft featured here are continued on into Ace Combat Seven. So some of your favorites are in Ace Combat Five. So if you get Seven and Five, you can you know play some of those. Um, I, f I feel like Ace Combat 7 is a combination of both 4 and 5 in controls. In so a way, yes. Yeah, so if you if you play Ace Combat 7, you can get right into 5 without too much of a fear of it being a different version or mm -hmm. an older version of the game. Old doesn't mean bad here. No. This yeah. is a classic. This is probably, with PlayStation 2 being one of the best selling consoles of all time, this is a PlayStation must have. I think Th it this has got to be in your life. In the top 300 games, I think it was like. There was, uh, I don't know if it was IGN or another, but it was into the top 300 games of all time. Yeah. I believe it. And it's really good at building tension. Here we're not doing much except for just following characters and following orders like War is, but eventually characters will tell you that's what yeah. it is and that's why they hate it. But uh, for those who know what I mean, it's because the characters are very important, just like they are in Ace Combat 7. And if you can play Ace Combat 7, you can play Ace Combat 5. They're basically, the yeah. controls are interchangeable. Yeah, it's almost absolutely. The you shouldn't have difficulty. While this is going, guys, I'm going to do the final giveaway. So this giveaway is actually going to be for the... I have one extra Aces at War bundle oh that I'm boy. going to be giving out. Ooh. So one of those with the game, of course, obviously. So PS4 version, Aces at War bundle that comes with the art book. We had the art book. I just don't feel like we have enough time to show it. So we're, we're going to skip that part. But if you guys uh, have the Aces at War bundle coming, it does come with a beautiful, beautiful art book that's uh, very spoiler-heavy. Yeah, it is. absolutely. If you were able to get the book, play the game first. And then go to the book. There's some really good stuff inside the book, but you want to play the game first. Cannot stress that enough. No, it's a, again another compliment. It's just compounded. There's a lot of uh, cherries yep. <laughs> that go on top of this wonderful cake. The the thing I should mention about the art book, it talks both about Ace Combat Seven and also the previous games. Yes. So you get a, like yeah. a history lesson of Ace Combat in there. Yeah, and a lesson of what's going on currently. So yeah, it's a good read afterwards. Uh, to kind of find things out if you have any questions. But again, <laughs> there's plenty of videos out there too that cover anything, and it really helps you to get immersed in the story. Yeah, there's a lot of lore to Ace Combat, but don't be discouraged. No. No, it's easy to follow if you put in the time and listen to the radio chat. That's a big part of this game, is mm -hmm. listening to orders and following the story as you're fighting. That's mainly how the story is delivered in these games. I mean, there are cutscenes for yep. sure, but. The, the main story is delivered through the, the radio chatter. Yes. yes, you can see both your uh, wingmen, your allies, your enemies sometimes. Yeah, sometimes yeah, you can civilian point. broadcasts. You get, yeah. you get to see different perspectives in the same game. Ships and, that are under attack. And they, they do relay you know, sometimes the like emotion of being in the, in the dogfight or in the battle. And um, the way you achieve some objectives sometimes it changes the order or shows some additional lines. So, one run in the story mode of the game is not enough. Yeah. I, I can guarantee that. Yeah, you'll want to play through this and Ace Combat 7 again and again. And that VR mode, even though it's uh, kind of a one-time run, uh, for the, you know you get that first rush, mm -hmm. you're going to want to do it again, I think, with that, with that yep. VR mode for Ace Combat 7. So, Cyrus, you're going to pick someone in the chat uh, to win. Oh, and he's got someone. Awesome. Thank you so much. I didn't know if you were checking to, to see who won. Uh, so, the winner there, let me find out who it is here. It's to the max. It's to the max. Congratulations. Congrats. Sorry, that was a very exciting name for me to say. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great name. Good, Winner good. to the max. Yes. So you won a copy of... Actually, I shouldn't be excited. That was the Ace of the War bundle I just gave out. It's yeah. to the max. You won an Ace of the War bundle, provided that you're in the U.S. Um, because borders. Because borders. Because borders, right. yeah. We're talking about the bookstore. Uh, okay, so yeah. It's to the max. You win a copy we are uh, going to get into some multiplayer. Although we're not going to play multiplayer because we don't have enough. We can talk about control. it. We're going we're, we're to talk about it, but we're also going to show the trailer while we're talking about it. So we can kind of do a little voiceover work for it. Sure. And you actually played the multiplayer at our press event, so you can yes, talk about it like, a little bit more detail. So we're going to get into that a little bit as soon as we're ready to launch. Yep, and go for it. Yep, and there it is. So you guys can actually talk about it here. So the Ace of War bundle. Oh, I'm sorry, not the Ace of War Bundle. That's what we just gave away. 
the yeah. multiplayer. Multiplayer, yeah. Yes. Multiplayer. So basically, in Ace Combat 7, you are able to play either team deathmatch or your standard deathmatch. Mm -hmm. So you can fight together or against your friends because sometimes you really want to destroy your friends. <laughs> friends. Yeah. Um, it uh, you can play in matches up to to four players, and there's a lot of customization as you can see there. You choose your plank, pick your parts. You want, you can improve your maneuverability, your speed, your stability, or you can focus on your weapons. Have missiles that go faster or are more, more accurate, or even some you know uh, miscellaneous aspects that you can change, such as improving your abilities to stay inside the clouds for a long period of time because of you know the icing. Uh, you can also change, you know, your skins and emblems as well. Put a little bit of, you know, customization, and they always show up when you start the match. So we talked a little bit about the multiplayer. I want to get to before the trailer ends. Actually, where are you going to be able to play the multiplayer next, and what other big things do we have coming up? All right. So you, if you if you live in Texas or plan to go, you can go to Pack South Pack South this weekend. And play Ace Combat 7, not just you know with your fellow friends, but uh, there are certain organizations going to be there called the U.S. Air Force. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, so perhaps you, uh, you heard of them. Yeah. I think so. The guys who pilot the the real things. That's right. And we also going to have a special guest attending the event, the one and only brand producer of the Ace Combat series, Kazutoki Kono. He will be there himself. The senpai. The senpai. And I'll be there as well. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be you're gonna yeah. be commentating. So we're, it, it's gonna be playable at the Bandai Namco booth, but not only is it gonna be playable there, it's also gonna be playable at the Twitch Arena. Mm -hmm. So oh, wow. if you go there on Friday, I believe that's the free play day, and then Saturday and Sunday are the tournaments. Yes. And you you actually can go over to the Twitch Arena area and register there to enter the tournament, where you'll be commentating. And hopefully, I'll get to commentate on your victory. My vi I can't. So I, I'm too <laughs> good at the game. What it, what it, I was gonna be like, okay, well, I can enter and win the entire thing if I wanted to. But I said, no. You know what? The fans deserve this. Yes. Yeah. You know? I don't. I don't want to beat them. Like, what would it look like if Maverick? Yeah. You know? <laughs> just showed up yeah, there. Yeah. You know, it, it would be the worst. I don't want to do that. Clear to house. Yeah, sure. Your wow. And, and I'm sure uh, you know Konosan would have an issue with that as well. He'd be like, hey, what, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. He'd be upset. Then he'd have to jump on, and we'd we'd have to play against each other. It'd be terrible. Oh, too OP. Yeah, way OP. You know, it'd be stall maneuvers left and right. It'd be an unstoppable uh, force and an immovable object coming together. Exactly. That's Nobody right. wants to see that. It's no fun. Who wants to see two experts fighting against each other? Uh, yeah. Not me. The no. duel. But yes, Pack South. The this weekend, you're going to be commentating. The Bandai Namco booth is going to have a playable multiplayer. We're actually going to be giving away uh, T-shirts there as well. Other Ooh. prizes as well. But we're going to have long sleeve versions of these Ace Combat shirts, perhaps you've seen them. Yeah, that's right. There you the go. The back is better, though. I, I don't know if I can. Let's see if I can. Can you guys see that? So it's got the three strikes there. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but that's the uh, the, the trigger. Uh, the sin line. Right. The sin line. What did right. you do? He's on a global black. Or having uh, having three know, of them. I, three strikes I, and you're out. I can't really talk about it on the stream. We'll have to <laughs> talk about it afterward. <laughs> Confidential. Guys. Confidential. Hundred percent. Maybe I think I'm in the wrong section. I have to get to the... Am I in the demo? Let's see here. No, I'm in the full game, so we want to get to the demo because we're going to talk about a little bit about the customization. But yes, PAX, yes. be there. Multiplayer, prizes, games. Kono-san's going to be there. Make sure you guys are there. You're going to be there doing an interview with him. That's exciting. Oh, yes. A lot of, I got a lot of fan questions okay. to relate to him. So it's going to be our chance. This is your chance to be there. Me. Project uh, shout out to Project Lighthouse. They're going to be there yep. doing an interview. They sent me a huge list of questions. <laughs> oh, I bet. I know them. They like things very detailed. So, if anyone from Project Light, uh, Lighthouse is on there, I'm uh, sure they are watching. Yeah. Make sure you guys. It's going to be a very big meetup. Besides them and myself, we're also going to have the staff from the East Coast subreddit there. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, he's uh, what's his name? I can't Z remember. Zetech. Zetech. Thank mm. you. Yeah, so he's going to be there. Are we going to meet up at Denny's? <laughs> oh, but my, okay. my the Danny session. Right, Big my, family my reunion at the Danny's. Sesh. Got it. Okay, so while I'm playing some gameplay, do you guys want to talk about the customization? Uh, so the customization for... It was interesting because the customization relates to what I've said on the online, but there are actually differences between the online and the single player. For example, some parts you can only equip on the single player. Some parts right. are online only for, for, for the multiplayer. And there's a lot of emblems you can unlock. There are different criteria. Some are, you know, single player related. Some are multiplayer related. But there's 
quite a few of them and you can select if you want to have on all your aircraft or just the wings, just the nose, so lots lots of options to, to choose from. How do you unlock emblems? Is it via... It depends. Some of so there's different requirements There are different for triggers mm. for each emblem. Ooh, okay. Triggers. I He's got it. it yeah. He's got it. That's excellent. Okay. Yeah. So that's how the customization works. Mm-hmm. What else can we talk about? Um, hmm. I guess that's pretty much. I mean, we've got, we've pretty much got all the questions covered in the chat. Everybody's hyped for the game. I guess oh, we we're almost there, guys. Almost. Yeah, just a, few a few more days more away. Days. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's why we're actually having the stream early is because we can't. We have to be at PAX, so we can't do the, the you know the stream on the 18th. Uh, that's w how I would have liked, but still big event at PAX. Right. I guess we can kind of just wrap it up by telling people about the release date, which is obviously the 18th. It's on the screen there. Um, and can, February 1st for PC. Yep, All that's right. right. The Steam version is yep. coming out. Uh, then we're also going to talk about the pre-order bonuses. So hit us with that because you uh, actually do a really good job of going through them all. All right. So if you pre-order on your PlayStation for the PlayStation 4, you get Ace Combat 5. You should get that game. It, it really is a good game. On Xbox One, you get Ace Combat 6, another good game. And for all pre-orders, you get the, F1, the F4, yep. Playboy Aircraft. You get a different skin for the F. 104, That's right. the Starfighter, yep. the Aver skin, mm -hmm. and uh, you also get some different emblems and skins from some very famous characters from the past games. Very excited. Yes, very, I think there's one excited. one character who doesn't like Borders very much. Oh really? But yes. The bookstore? What? See, he got my joke. Yeah. Excellent, yes, the bookstore. That's oh, he right. won then, because mm. they're out of business. I was talking about Pixie, but... Oh! Yeah, the other, the that, other person who doesn't that, like Borders. That's an interesting character. Yeah. So, guys, this is really your chance. Pre-order, uh, and you're gonna get two games for the price of one. That's right. One other thing I want to mention before we uh, before we take off, we have a very special VIP program that we're gonna talk about uh, in a little bit. If you guys didn't get a chance to win anything on the stream today, there is another way of winning. Cyrus in the chat is going to uh, put in some links there, but basically what the VIP program is, it's a VIP box that you're able to win. There's lots of different swag. There's different swag each month. There's going to be some, I believe there should be some Ace Combat swag in this month's giveaway. Uh, if you guys want to enter that, Cyrus is putting the uh, link in the chat. It's really simple to win. You can win one of 15 VIP boxes just by following the link and following the information there. Um, you just sign up with your email address, and there's other ways to win. So tell your friends about it. It's a really, it's it's free. It's not going to cost you anything. So make sure you guys jump in the VIP program and uh, check it out. It's just a really cool way of winning some free stuff. I wish I had a box to un unbox uh, this time, but next stream we'll check it out. So that's pretty much it. Unless, oh, very important thing. Where can they find you guys online? Oh, just look me up on YouTube. Ace Combat Fan, easy to find. Yeah, look for Raptor on YouTube. Okay. Twitter. Anywhere else. So we haven't had you on before. For the people that don't know, what type of videos do you specialize in? Uh, anything uh, related to war. Ace Combat, of course, is a longtime favorite of mine. So um, anything from modern warfare, World War II, okay. flight simulator, simulator games in general. It's a great mix for this game, for sure. Nice. Okay, cool. I think we've got pretty much everything covered, right, guys? Absolutely. We've had a big, long live stream today. The game's coming out January 18th for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Make sure you guys check it out. If you guys want... Ace Combat 6 or Ace Combat 5, the only way to get them is through the pre-order. Check out the VIP links in there, and we'll see you guys up in the skies. Bye, everyone. Goodbye.